Voice of thanksgiving this morning. My labor so tabag, I should tell you, Mama. Bring a back, I should tell you, Mama Cassantali. Thank you, mighty Father. Blessed be thy name in highest. In Jesus' most wonderful name, we are praying. I thought somebody would say a better amen. Lift up your voice to heaven, Lord, and glance, say, Father. I have come again. Oh God, my Father, as I begin my day, as I begin my week, I need your mercy. I cannot begin this day without your mercy. I cannot begin this week without your mercy. Oh, thou merciful God, arise and show me mercy. Go ahead, talk to the Almighty God. Have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon me. Oh Lord. Have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon me. Oh Lord. Ask him for mercy. Have mercy upon me. Zelebakash and tell you. Have mercy upon me, Jehovah. Have mercy upon me today. Ah, have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon me today. In Jesus' mighty name, we have received mercy. I trust someone to say a better amen. First Samuel chapter 2, verse 8. 
1 Samuel chapter 2 verse 8 the Bible says he raised up the poor out of the dust lifted up the beggar from the downhill to set them among princes and to make them inherit the throne of glory you will inherit the throne of glory for the pillars of the earth are the Lord's and he has said the word upon them. You want to take your three prayer points very quickly? Lift up your two hands to heaven and cry loud and clear to the almighty God and say, Father, say, Father, by your power, it doesn't matter the level I am now. Please raise me up. Let me be lifted on every side. Can you go ahead and touch it, Almighty God? It doesn't matter the level you are. You may be in the pit. You may be in the very clay. You may be on the ground. My Bible says he raised the poor out of the dust and the beggar from the downhill and set them among the princes. Ask the Lord to raise you up today that you not remain at the level you used to be last week, this week. You not remain at the level you used to be yesterday, today. <laughs> oh God of heaven, by your power, by your mind, let me be lifted higher. Let me be raised up, oh God. Raise me financially. Raise me materially. Raise me spiritually. Raise me physically. Ask the Lord for a raise up. A raise up, a raise up, a raise up on every side. Add a lot to raise up your business. Add a lot to raise up your finances. Lord, just raise me up. Our Heavenly Father, we magnify you. Indeed, you are God. Yesterday, you are God. Today, you remain God. Forever, you be God. You are the unchangeable changer. Only you rule in the affairs of men. Your yes is yes. Your no is no. You are higher than the highest. You are greater than the greatest. You are mightier than the mightiest. You are wiser than the wisest. You are wealthier than the wealthiest. We say may your name forever be praised in the name of Jesus. Today, O oh God, accept our worship in the name of Jesus. Mighty and everlasting Father, we lift up our voices unto you this morning and we ask for every one of us here this morning and as many listening online, that they have mercy upon us. That they please show us mercy. Throughout today, throughout this week, show us your mercy. And Lord God Almighty, in your name I decree, it doesn't matter the level anyone may be here today, that they raise us up in the of Jesus. I pray for you, anything that want to tie you down on the same spot, Anything that wants to stagnate your life, let the anointing break the yoke today in the name of Jesus. May the Almighty God set you on high among princes in the name of Jesus. May you inherit glory and not shame in the name of Jesus. As you hand over your day into the hands of the Most High God, the Lord will demonstrate His grace in your life in the name of Jesus. Everything you do today, everything you do this week, you will see grace in action. And so God will command his blessing upon you. The Lord will send you helpers. He will prosper the work of your hand. He will make his countenance to shine upon you. He will guide you all through today. He will lead you all through today. He will defend you all through today. He will fight your battle all through today. The ground will cooperate with you today. Heaven will cooperate with you today. The sun that will rise today will not work against you. The air in the atmosphere will not blow against you. In the mighty name of Jesus, whatever your desire today, heaven will grant them. Whatever your expectation, they will not be cut off. Expectation of the wicked over your life, they shall be cut off. The horns of wicked shall be cut off. The rod of the wicked will not fall upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus, the grace of God will not allow you to be disgraced. You will hear good news today. I say you will hear good news today. I say you will hear good news today. And goodness and mercy will follow you. In the mighty name of Jesus. And so shall live it. In the name of God the Father. God the Son. And God the Holy Spirit. I thought the blood God said that. Amen. Three powerful times. Want to go? 
Jam your hands together for the Almighty God and lift up your right hand as we take our declaration together. Say, I worship the Almighty God, the unquestionable God, and the incomparable God. Forever, His praises shall be in my mouth. And I will bless the Lord at all times. For Him alone can kill and can make alive. He can lift up and He can bring down. He can make poor and He can make rich. I declare and I confess. Consign me and my household that we serve the unlimited God. He's unlimited in power, unlimited in resources, unlimited in wisdom, unlimited in strength, unlimited in space, unlimited by time, and unlimited in glory. He is the almighty God. And nothing can hinder what he had proposed to do in our lives. And nothing can hinder what he had proposed to do in our lives. I declare and I confirm that no matter how terrible my background, my background will not put me on the ground. The almighty God will surely lift me up and set me among the princes and I will surely inherit glory. I will never again know shame and reproach. The almighty God shall terminate every shameful situation in my life. I declare and I proclaim that for the rest of my life I shall move from glory to glory, from honor to honor, from power to power, from blessing to blessing, and from victory to victory. I'll finish well. I'll finish strong. My ending shall be far better than my beginning. I'll not go to hell. I'll reign eternity. I'll love the Lord. And I will serve the Lord all the days of my life. In Jesus' name. If you are the available, go ahead and bless the Holy Ghost. Kalika kaba ba kasa katolia ne preye gazuta ba yi gazanda kagagaga ba yi kato bremasuta blande zukale brakata gazanta li mama maka si katole mashetele zakayi gala ba tuba le mashetalia. Thank you, mighty Father, and so shall it be in Jesus' name. Either you say amen or not. Your confession will surely become testimony. Either you say amen or no, your confession will surely come to pass. As the Lord have heard you spoken to his ear, so shall he do for you. And I decree any power that will not allow your confession to become reality, let God destroy them. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. And you say that amen several thunderous times. Two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Put your head together for the Almighty God. Hallelujah. Whose testimony is going to be the first to be heard? May I prophesy into your life? In that name that is above every other name. May the grace of God deliver your heart desire to you today. May the grace of God deliver your heart desire to you today. If you are saying that, you may say loud and clear. One more time, put your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let me sit in his presence. Not by mind nor by power the theme or topic for last Monday that we hope to conclude now we read Zechariah chapter 4 verse 1 to 14 praise the Lord but permit me to just read only verses 6 and 7 for the purpose of this morning then he answered and speak unto me 
saying, this is the word of the Lord unto Sunday, saying, not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit. Sear the Lord of hosts. Who art thou, O great mountain, before Zerubbabel on Sunday? Thou shalt become a plain, and shall bring forth the stone thereof with shouting, cry what? Grace, grace unto it. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, my grace is sufficient for thee, and my strength is made perfect in weakness. Last week, after the preambles, we try to begin to look at what is it that is not by mind or by power. Not by mind, not by power. As a topic, is an incomplete statement or incomplete sentence. And so we began to look what are those things that is not by mind, not by power. We are not even that said to him, your hand have laid the foundation of this house, your hand will complete it. Can I pray for only one person that is handling the project or have a project at hand? The grace and the anointing of Zerubbabel will rest upon you. That you will start and you will finish. You will not build for order to inhabit. And so, as you embark on any project, you will make progress. Your project will not stop halfway. If you are saying that, amen, say it loud and clear. Amen and amen. Be seated in this person. So, we told us that making progress in life is not by might, nor by power. Not even to be blessed. Blessings are not by might, not by power. You want to see a man that is blessed? It takes grace of God to become blessed. And I pray for you, you will be a blessing. Achievement. Achievement in life is not by might, not by power. Many desire to have great accomplishments, great achievements, but they are unable to. Because a said grace is available, you can achieve nothing. But I pray for you, in your lifetime, you will have several achievements. Spiritually, physically, materially, financially, maritally, ministerially, you will have great achievements. Proofness is not going to be by mind or by power. That was why when Mary asked the angel, he looked at the wall, how can this thing be? He said, the power of the most high shall come upon you. Praise the Lord. And the power of the, most, of the Holy Ghost will overshadow thee. Praise the Lord. And I personally got a revelation from that scripture years ago. Praise the Lord. Reigning in life is not by mind or by power. Many desire to reign, but they are not able to. But when grace is available, you will not only reign, you will have dominion. Yeah. Only one person is saying amen. Yeah. Receiving help is not by mind nor by power. Hello? Receiving help is not going to be by what? Not by power. Many of us look at some people, look at their profiles, and you conclude this one is in position to help me. And you wait and wait and wait and wait and wait, and no help is forthcoming. Why? Help is not by might nor by. That's why the psalmist says, I look unto the hills from where come my, my hair coming from who created the heaven. 
And that's why it said, No man receiveth anything except it be given from. Can I pray for only one person? This particular week, you will jam your helpers. Your helpers will jam you. If your, if your amen is louder than your neighbor, it will happen. Beloved, breakthrough is not by mind, nor by power. Amen? Breakthrough is not by what? At all. Many desire to break through, but they struggle and struggle and struggle and struggle. It's not in this, in the, in the, in the magnitude of your struggle that will bring breakthrough to you. It takes grace of God. It takes what? Grace of God. If you don't believe me, just ask Brother Peter. After he toiled all night, did he catch anything? But when grace appeared, <laughs> Within a seconds, he had a breakthrough. There is somebody here. It is not over yet. Before this month be ended, your breakthrough will come. <laughs> Listen to me. Somebody may be here thinking that you have gotten a breakthrough. Listen to me. The mother of all breakthrough is still on the way. <laughs> Only one person got that one. I mean the mother of all breakthrough. That you yourself, you will look around, you say, Lord, this one is too much. By the grace of God, for somebody that will release his faith, for somebody that will exercise faith, in that name that is above every other name, before the end of this year, you will testify. Beloved, not by mind, not by power. Why? Why? Because the Holy Ghost, which is also the grace of God upon a man, turn ordinary to the extraordinary. <laughs> Hello? The reason why the Bible says, not by mind, not by power, is because the Holy Ghost, which is also grace, how many of us know that Holy Ghost is grace? Maybe I should just put that to you immediately to diffuse your doubt. When you read Acts chapter 4, Acts chapter 4, read verse 31 and 33. Acts chapter 4, verse 31 and 33. The Bible says in Acts chapter 4 verse 31, he said, and when they had prayed, he said the place was shaken where they were assembled together. And they were all filled with what? With the Holy Ghost. And they speak the word of God with what? With boldness. By the time you get to verse 33, the Bible says, and with great power, gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus and what happened and great grace was upon them all in other words the manifestation of the power of the Holy Ghost the manifestation of the anointing upon the life of a man is tantamount to grace and so when he called it turns the ordinary to extraordinary. For instance, when David volunteered to fight Goliath, Saul tried to arm David with earthly armor and weapons of war. <laughs> Praise the Lord. But David knew it's not by might, nor by power. 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 38 to 40. David had to tell Saul, I will not wear this your armor. I will not use this your sword. I will not use this your shield. I rather try what I know. Praise the Lord. And the Bible says, David took his staff, took his sling, and picked five stones. 
How many stones? Equal to what? Oh my God. Equal to what? Grace. Equal to what? Grace. Equal to what? Grace. Equal to what? Grace. And so, when Goliath saw him, Goliath could not fathom. How can a man like this decide to commit suicide? Praise God. Because David confronting Goliath, as far as Goliath is concerned, this boy don't want to commit suicide. And you will not blame him. Because somebody told a story. I saw in the social media. That in those days in worry, there were mighty and powerful men. I've never saw this stuff. Okay? I have a witness. Mighty and powerful men. That there's this man, whether they call him Robinson, he was the most powerful. Nobody dare him. And suddenly, somebody went and beat her sister. He said, Ha? Ah, in this worry, somebody beat my sister. Who, who is that? And everybody feared him. And so, he decided to go and avenge for his sister. Went to the stronghold of the strong men of that particular side to go and avenge. Say, who dare touch my sister? Who did it? And everybody was afraid. They started begging him. Robinson, please. Robinson, please. Robinson, please. And suddenly, somebody from the bar just spoke. Robinson, what did they worry you say? Who you be? Who what you think say you be? You are going to finish you. Ah. Initially, the heart of <laughs> Robinson cut off. Praise God. Then he looked back. The fellow telling him, What did you be, sir? What did they worry you, sir? See him. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Touch me. I die for your head. <laughs> oh my God. Let somebody shout hallelujah. What am I trying to say? When Robinson saw the person challenging him, he knew the fellow was on suicide mission. <laughs> because how can a cripple be challenging a warrior? It is just suicide. And so Goliath took a look at David and said, David, young man like you, have you married? They want to commit suicide. Have you had children? You didn't see me. And David said, with his sling and with his stone, I come against you. Don't forget that David has contacted grace. Don't forget that David has received the anointing. Don't forget that the David facing Goliath is no longer ordinary David. So, not by man, not by power, because David carry grace. And listen to me, when you carry grace, you become extraordinary. Not just you, but anything in your hand. Hello? And that is why the ordinary stone and the sling in the hand of David was no longer a stone. It had become weapon of destruction. It had become what? Weapon of destruction. And as he fired it, it was amazing that the giant was lying flat on the floor. And by his sword, his head was cut off. Can I pray for only one person? Malikaba <laughs> Gazantalia. Brethren, you don't understand. Please don't just send to heaven. By 
by the reason of the anointing. In that name that is above every other name. Before you step out of this lane, you cease to be ordinary. I repeat, you cease to be ordinary. Let the grace of God transform you from ordinary to extraordinary. Let the grace of God transform you to a giant killer. I say, let the grace of God transform you into a giant killer. Let the grace of God transform you into a victor. Let the grace of God transform you into an overcomer. If you are that fellow, you may be loud and clear. That is why the Bible says, for the weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal, but mighty through God for the pulling down of strongholds. Second Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4. Listen to me, sir. Listen to me, sir. Let me borrow from what that the other shola said here yesterday. I beg you in the name of God Almighty. And say you don't know who you are. Stop looking down on yourself. And throw it down. And the sea did not swim back. And it was iron that now swim up. Sir, which one become which? Danger. Then the stick became what? Iron. And the iron became stick. Can I pray for you? <laughs> Hello? Hello? From today, after this anointing, anything you hold, whatever you want it to become, it will become. I challenge you. Take a thousand naira into your hand and say, I want it to be million. It shall become million for you. I decree in that name that's above every other name. Anything your hand touches will prosper. No by mind, no by no by power, but by the grace of God, it shall prosper. If you are saying amen, say loud and clear. Listen to me, sir, because time is not on my side. Anointing turn ordinary cruise and salt to a water treatment plant. Hello? To what? Water treatment plant. See what his pastor talking about. When Elisha got to Jericho, the people said, see our water is bad. It cannot be drunk. When the water is bad, what do you do? You bring water treatment plant and treat the water. If you don't believe me, are those living in Sister Avenue? Hello? I have been there now. Every house has water treatment plant. If you don't get, see how your water go red. It go red, so take. Now, the people said our water is bad. Elijah did not say, go and meet engineers. Let them construct water treatment plant. He said, bring me crews, bring me salt. The crews and the salt in the hand of the anointed. In the hand of who? The anointed became a water treatment plant that healed the water. The Bible says, till this day. Lift up your two hands. Oh my God. In that name that is above every other name. As the anointing come upon you, grace for solution to every problem in your life shall come. I say grace for solution. Listen to me, sir. Many are looking for solution for many problems. Hello? The lesson in that Bible passage is the, in that second key chapter 2 is the fact that when grace is there, sir, what others cannot find solution to, as long as you are there, there will be solution. If you don't believe me, go and ask Daniel. How come when the king made the decree, he was going to kill all the witches and wizards, all the soothsayers, all the astrologers, because they could not find solution? Daniel said, Don't worry, king. I carry grace. I also have brothers that carry grace. By the time we go to our God, we shall come back with solution. And they went to their God, they returned with solution. And they said, King, this is the solution. Listen to me, sir. Not by mind, not by power. Whenever there is trouble, whenever there is problem, brother, 
return back to grace. When grace come, solution come. Say, give me sword, give me cruise. And instantly, that that was dead, he said, oh my God. There was another story I came across. The sons of prophets were eating pottage. You know the story very well. They were eating what? Pottage. And there was poison inside. Can I pray ya? Can I pray for somebody? On the account of today's anointing, no poison will be able to kill you. Listen to me. Even when they poison the food, you put your hand, instantly it shall be neutralized. Because I saw Elisha said to them, bring me a meal. Bring me a meal. Serve my own portion. They served his portion. He ate out of it. He said, return the remaining to the pot. They returned the remaining to the pot and they said, the dead is no more. Oh my God. Can you say, not by mind, not by power? <laughs> it's already time. It's already time. And Talia lifted the hands to heaven. Say, Father, whatever I in my hand, including myself, including myself, saturate me with grace. Saturate it with grace. And let it cease to be ordinary. Go ahead and touch it. I'm going to go. Masaka Bale Baba. Regedeboskata. Exercise your faith. Let it see to be ordinary. <laughs> Let it see to be ordinary. Kambra da gado kasanta li mama. Jebolo gasita brande kasanta li. Let it see to be ordinary. <laughs> Whatever that is littered up. Let grace saturate it. Not by mind or by power. But by the spirit, oh God. Lika brande kasanta li mama. Jegede gazuka pa li proda gazentele. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. See little those two hands. Brethren, let me tell you this by the special grace of God. And you will agree with me. Whatever you see that is happening here on a daily basis, that is what we are talking about, grace. You know why? Many a time, you will not believe it that even when I tell you that this is going to be the topic for so-so time, I don't know what to say. I have not prepared the sermon in some cases. And I'll be waiting upon the Lord. And I'll be saying, Lord, how do I go about it? Suddenly, he will just whisper something. And that is it. Including the message you are hearing this morning. Let me tell you what I wanted to come and tell you here this morning. I've come, I wanted to come and tell you that the Spirit of God will guide you. The Spirit of God will show you secret things. The Spirit of God will empower you. But suddenly, as I was praying, about two hours to my prayer, he said, no, grace turned ordinary to extraordinary. I said, what is God talking about? He began to tell me things. Sir, this is why I am convinced that there is somebody here now in that name that is above every other name. Something extraordinary will happen in your life. You will cease to be ordinary. Your business will cease to be ordinary. Your family will cease to be ordinary. In the mighty name of Jesus, every challenge, every problem in your life, let there be solution. As the anointing come upon you, solution will come. I say solution we call. I say solution we call. I say solution we call. Whatsoever you lay your hand seems to be ordinary. Whatsoever you lay your hand will prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus. Giants will die in your hand. I say you become giant killers. Poison will not have effect over your life. I say poison will not have effect over your life. You will trample upon serpent and scorpion. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Holy Spirit. Do you, do you know what God just told me? Do you, do you hear what I just heard? He says, 
Why did God ask Moses to take the serpent? This is what I just had just now. Why did God, after he said, turn to the rod of the ground, rod became serpent. Did they take hand to pick serpent? So why did God ask Moses to take hand with serpent? Nobody is not with me. Why? Why? As at the time, God was asking Moses to take up the serpent. Moses is no longer ordinary Moses. Hello? As you get anointed, 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 Shall we rise? the two hands to heaven. Is there anything you want God to do urgently in your life? Urgently. 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 It has been hard. It has been difficult. It has been slow. Go ahead. Just say it. Just say it. Amen. Somebody say praise God. God added another year to me yesterday. And somebody say people of God praise the Lord. Our baby is one today. So together let us shout a powerful hallelujah. Eight, eight, eight. One to go. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. 